Yeah, the Deputy First Morris. Uh, Minister, in, um, in the different amendments and in the whole debate about the noise in Dublin, um, I think that we're missing one thing in all of this, um, that Dublin is under pressure. Uh, we see with the fiasco at the hospital, but also in the airport and the amount of traffic that's coming into it has grown and grown. And that's a good thing. Um, I think that nobody disputes that. But there is a certain amount and a bridge you can go beyond it. And I know you're aware of uh, plans and the, your department had been asked for a letter of support. Um, for If you look at other airports out in different parts uh, of the world, there, would be, there may be an airport 30, 40, 60, 50, 60 miles away. And I know that there was a proposal um, being put to you uh, in the Midlands and also under the, and I know that you have said that you are going to make an application to Europe, um, that regional, the likes of Knock Airport, if the likes of Tin T was, uh, it was pushing, I know you said you are applying in the next couple of months, but it is nearly two years after, I think 16, it is nearly three years after, um, where on the programme for government it stated that we were going to uh, put it in make an application to Europe in the first three months, but we're nearly three years gone. And I'm not saying it's you, but I think within that department there isn't the willingness that um, the Metro or something else, uh, rather than putting in that application, and especially with Brexit, as others have talked about coming, there is areas of this country that will be seriously affected by it. And airports strategically are very important. And rather than putting more noise and more problems on top of one area, um, it may be uh, suitable, and when you look at the, you know, if you look at the government's plans of supposedly bringing down carbon um, and trying to get more people onto trains, um, you look towards the Midlands where you have uh, uh, train tracks, and if under this new great world that you're talking about, there will be electrifying them and spending probably three billion, um, you could put a connection into that. And many of us goes to different parts of the world and you might see the likes of Ryanair flies 40, 30, 40, 50 miles and you could have a quick system of getting into an area rather than pouring it all down on the one area and congesting it. And you know, you will bring regional development, in my opinion, that way. It is a way forward. But also for the other regions, like the Cork to make sure, like the Shannon and Knock that has been sort of left on its own. If it's not looking for a miracle, all it's looking for is a status that there's a, a, a there's a situation there under the for applying for tin T that airports in peripheral areas, like there's no point in someone driving from Mayo on a care to Dublin if there's an airport beside you, putting more pressure on more planes to come into Dublin. And I do think that your department um, needs to it's three years now in May, and the commitment was given that inside three months this would be done uh, for that area, that the Tin Tea, we know that Rosslea Airport and ports were in, in, uh, mentioned in it as well, um, but to give the different parts of Ireland, especially with the risk of the Brexit coming, and to cater for places like Donegal, where we talked about the port uh, and Killy Beggs being deepened, and to make sure that you give the chance to the different areas. Because if you keep trying to push runways and more planes coming in in the one area, you will have more problems. There's no doubt about it. People that probably bought a house that were far enough away one time are now finding it uh, more difficult to live in that area. Um, and I know that solutions have to be found. Air travel, which is great, is going up. Uh, in one way in this country, if you look at the amount of passengers that's flying in and flying out. Um, but if we keep trying to pour the concrete in one spot, we are going to leave other areas. And solutions can be found, in my, in my opinion. And many one that will be travelling has no problem in, when you go to other countries of sitting in be it a, a bus or sitting in a train that will shuttle you fairly quick to the capital city of somewhere, if that's where you want to go, or it may give other options to go to other places. So I think that your department needs to look at where it's going in all of this, and you know, if, if there is private operators uh, want, wanting to uh, get a letter of support in the way that the investment comes, where you have institutional technologies, where you have the different 
um, the different uh, agencies and the different um, say colleges and the, that you can make sure that you could bring regional development and bring a focus on other areas rather than maybe for the people around Dublin compounding more problems on top of them. Gurumahagut. <laughs>